we're going to do now is look at some problems from section 1.1 of the text. Here's our first problem. We want to simplify the expression 4 times x squared plus 5 times two, whoops, 4 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 cubed. Now, according to our rule for the order of operation, what we want to do is simplify each part that has an exponent on it, fir exponent on it first. So this would be 4 times 2 squared is 4, plus 5 times 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2, is 8. Now I have addition and multiplication, so what I want to do is multiplication first. 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 8 is 40. Now I'm left with an addition problem, 16 plus 40 is 56. So that's how we simplify this expression right here according to our rule for the order, rule for the order of operations. We want to take care of this part that has the exponents on it first, then we do multiplication, and finally we do addition. Okay, let's look at our next example. We have 40 subtract 10 divided by 5 plus 1. Now I have subtraction, multiplication, and addition. According to my rule for order of operations, I want to do my division first. So this will be 40 subtract, now I'll do 10 divided by 5, which is 2, plus 1. 40 subtract 2 is 38 plus 1. So I'm doing my subtraction and addition just left to right in the same direction that I read. And 38 plus 1 is 39. So these first uh, couple of problems here really are just uh, practice in using that rule for order, the rule for order of operations, which says that we evaluate e any expression with an exponent first, um, then we do all multiplications and divisions left to right, and then all additions and subtractions left to right. Um, where we start is inside the innermost parentheses first, and we'll get some practice with that with our next example. So problem number three, we want to simplify three times this quantity, 2 plus 4 times, and then inside the parentheses here, 5 plus 2 times 3. So my rule tells me that I want to go inside the innermost parentheses first, and then I simply apply that rule for order of operation inside there. So here I have 5 plus 2 times 3. I have multiplication and addition. I'm going to multiply first. 2 times 3 is 6. So I'll have 5 plus 6 close that parenthesis, and then this one too. Now this is 3 times 2 plus 4 times 5 plus 6 is 11. And now I'm going to work my way back out inside these parentheses. Here I have 4 times 11, and here I have addition, so I'm going to do the multiplication first. 3 times 2 plus 4 times 11 is 44. Now inside the parentheses, 2 plus 44 is 46, uh, 2 plus 44 is 46, and now 3 times 46, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 is 13. So I have 138. So the rule for order of operation says that we always start inside the innermost parentheses first. So I want to start inside the innermost parentheses and then work my way out. So I'm going to start here and then work my way out from there, simplifying according to my rule for order of operations. Let's look at another problem here that involves a translation. Problem four, we want to translate into symbols this expression right here written in English. The sum of x and y is less than the difference of x and y. So I'll start with the sum of x and y, which is x plus y. And that is going to be less than, so I use my less than symbol, the difference of x and y, which is x minus y. So remember when you do these translations that sum always indicates addition, difference always indicates subtraction, product goes with multiplication, and quotient goes with the division. So there's a look at some of the important problems from section 1.1.